in today's nugget section we'll analyze the indecent results prima facie the results don't look good but we'll try and explore if there's any hidden item which justifies the low results it is never a good feeling to be cornered to feel helpless totally out of control and to avoid that feeling today once i saw that nifty after going up has fallen down i stayed out for most of the day one funny incident today towards the end of the day expiry of nifty the weekly one i took some trades roughly around 245 20 lots i said it is a lottery 24400c break even of 24406 nifty was about 25 points behind i thought that if it hits that number it's a jackpot and we have seen many times that last few minutes nifty or bank nifty go down or up the comedy was nifty closed above this point 24415 and it seemed like i made 5000 rupees in the gamble in two minutes time they revised the number of nifty saying no the revised price is 24399.4 can you believe that this is not manipulated instead of trying all the hard stuff if sebi just says in the last five minutes on an expiry specially no high frequency trades will be allowed look at the game changer that can be for people who are squeezing out the ones who are not using that kind of infrastructure this is the line 24400 after initial volatility somewhere after 1050 it was being kept tethered to this number at the close of bell you are profitable after close of bell someone say comes and says no you are not profitable what would you do how do you tune your trade once the bell has rung so one more option exhausted which is not to be tried again if the visitors are gone only the owners are left then the casino will suddenly be empty today's market nifty 26 stocks down 24 up hdfc bank was up most it is in the green zone ultra tech cement sbi mnm and titan look suddenly there are only two green stocks in entire nifty 50 15 days back there were about 30 35 of them today hul fell a lot after the results this is the size of hul's contribution to nifty on the downside so clearly hul's damage was way way higher the next big laggard was itc sbi live bajaj auto and tcs Next 50, 25 stocks down, 25 up. Adani total gas, which is in the red zone, was up most 8%, followed by Power Finance Corporation, REC, Adani Power, ICIC Prudential. I talked about Zomato, despite fantastic results, that fell most, followed by Dabur, TVS, Varun Beverages, and Godrej Consumer. People will not like Zomato. They will be trolled on social media mercilessly. You can't keep increasing platform fee which is a charge every other month because people have accepted it last time just one thing more to point out in next 50 there is only one green stock the graph of all the sectors clearly in favor of beers that is despite three large sectors being with the bulls and two with the beers that is because hul was down so much hdfc was up but that was one percent up Look at banking, looking good, but that was 0.6% up only. Meanwhile, consumption pack was down 4.5%. The sibling sector, food and tobacco, Adani Wilmer was up 7%, but everything else was down. Consumption looking really weak right now, 2% down. Think of it, villages have been ravaged by floods. They are not getting microfinance loans because of all the restrictions and microfinance companies choking. Where will the villagers get money from? Government spending in any case is on standstill. We are talking about 70-80% of the country. The growth engine will come to a grinding halt and consumption will be impacted most. Nifty's range half percent but it was moving just between 20 points like I said earlier. The volatility or the range was just first 10-15 minutes. Bank Nifty also that was up and then it was range bound. 200 point range for Bank Nifty. Nothing for traders unless you are collecting premium. Only one big red HUL and then ITC both consumption. The other reds are pretty small but the greens were big. See Bank Nifty 0.6%, HDFC 1%, SBI 1%. Sun Pharma half a percent, Bajaj Finance up, NTPC up. But overall, the balancing act of HUL was too much. 
Indecent is in the red zone along with IRFC and it hit a 52 week low today also. The results came after market hours. It closed in the green half percent up and we'll talk about the results in the nugget section today. Only two reds today, Kotak Mahindra and IRFC that too not big. Bank Nifty up, HDFC up, SBI, Bajaj Finance, Axis Bank, PFC, Bank of Baroda, PNB. If you are thinking ICICI has become silent of late, it is just 9% away from the 52 week high. IT no reds, no highs or lows. Oracle cracked 4.7%, persistent down half a percent. In fact, persistent actually opened quite low, then went up. For the day, it did not do much. Somewhere around 5700, 5800, a lot of resistance is coming for persistent. It may find it difficult to cross 6000 before the next quarterly results, unless there is some good news flow. Auto similar story, the forging company Bharat Forge was up. Most companies on the red side, the biggest cut was on TVS motor side. Now good part is most of the auto companies except of course Ola Electric, they are pretty far off from their 52 week lows. So you won't see a L or red in this column very soon for auto at least. Solar industry in the defense pack cracked today 4%. In the shipping company only Cochin shipyard was up. Most of these companies also are far far away from their 52 week lows. That is because most of them have given multiples this financial year. Hindustan Zinc third consecutive day up. Vedanta also gave company. But Hindalco cracked 3.5%. Overall metal pack besides the Hindustan Zinc franchise not looking good. Nestle hit a 52 week low. Radico hit a 52 week high. Varun Beverages gave up all the gains from yesterday. Dabar was down 3%, ITC down 2%. Cigarette business will not be impacted. No one smokes less cigarettes if the economy is not doing well. This pack also is looking weak. Today investment banking was also not looking good at all. JM Financial cracked 3.6%, Angel One down 3%. This pack is far far away from the 52 week lows. Motilal Oswal is still 40% away from the 52 week high. So is Angel One 35% away. Watch out for KFIN Tech results on Monday. When Reliance is not moving, oil and gas does not move up at all. Adani total was up a lot today, but that's a smallish company. Big cut continued in Chennai Petro. Reliance Power second consecutive upper circuit. SW Solar down circuit. Tata Power has suddenly got stuck roughly around 500 levels. The 52 week high is 494. It is consolidating around 450 since May of this year. Because of fantastic management of the large stocks, Nifty fell only 0.15%. That is despite HUL falling 6%, ITC 2% and the big stocks did not do anything. Nifty Bank, however, was up 0.6%. Nifty Energy was up a bit. Next 50 auto corrected. Now this is one century tomorrow. No one wants to see. DIs probably will take a day more. I wonder if finance ministry is worried about this number, especially if this number is leaving the country. I don't think it is leaving because rupee is still hovering around 84. If this much money, 1 lakh crore was to leave the country, then we would be looking at 85.5 or 86 levels on the dollar, at least in the interim. Now tomorrow, I expect to be a dangerous day from FIDIA perspective for the simple reason that all the stock positions in FNO will be closed except for the people who want to take delivery, which is very few. Because Monday otherwise, there will be margin required to take delivery or provide delivery. So most people who are trading still in the October series, they will square off their positions, close them out. I don't know whether the market will go up or down, but tomorrow I don't expect the market to be range bound. There will be spikes. Now looking at the market conditions, especially the new IPO of Hyundai, Swiggy has decided to cut the IPO valuations. They were earlier aiming for 15 billion. Now they are saying 12.5 to 13.5. I believe this valuation also is overly stressed. Cabinet has approved two major railway projects. 
द रेलवे कंपनीज आई आर एफ सी द वैगन कंपनी सम ऑफ देम विल डांस टूमोरो प्रॉबली इंडस्ट्री एंड रिजल्ट वर नॉट गुड दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एन ए एम सी बिजनेस आर बी आई एज गिवन अप्रूवल सिक्स टू नाइन मंथस टू सेटअप आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ इट्स अ गुड मूव दे आर वैल्यूड एट रफली वन लैख करोड़ दे कैन ईजिली बाय समथिंग विच इज़ अराउंड से टेन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड करोड़ दे विल गेट एग्जिस्टिंग बिजनेस लॉट ऑफ न्यू ब्रांचेस एंड अ लॉट ऑफ न्यू कस्टमर्स दैट दे डोंट हैव टू एक्वायर क्रॉस सेल अप सेल मे नॉट मेक टू मच सेंस टू इंडस्टेंट कस्टमर्स दैम सेल्स राइट नाउ मिस्टर कटपालिया इज द राइट पर्सन टू डिसाइड हाउ एवर मीन वाइल गोल्ड सेवेंटी एट थाउजेंड सिल्वर नाइन्टी एट थाउजेंड बिटकॉइन स्लाइटली अप ब्रेंट हैज क्रॉस सेवेंटी फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स टूडे रूपी फैमिली टेरिटरी एट्टी फोर यूएस मार्केट येस्टरडे करेक्टेड इलेक्शन फीवर इज स्टार्टिंग नाउ इट विल गेट इवन मोर वोलेटाइल इफ यू थिंक टू थ्री परसेंट फॉर लार्ज स्टॉक लाइक एप्पल एंड मीडिया इज टू हाई माई ट्रेड आई एग्जिटेड परसिस्टेंट इट वॉज नॉट एबल टू गो बियॉन्ड द लेवल आई मैंशन अर्लियर वॉट आई डिड येस्टरडे ऑन गट फील वॉज आई बॉट सम पुट ऑप्शन ऑफ परसिस्टेंट टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द डे दे वर प्रॉफिटेबल टूडे मेड सम मनी ऑल्सो आई सॉ एच डी एफ सी बैंक वॉज एंकरिंग द निफ्टी इन द मॉर्निंग सो आई बॉट सम कॉल ऑप्शन दैट ऑल्सो गेव प्रॉफिट पी डी लाइट गुड रिजल्ट आई बॉट सम कॉल ऑप्शन अनकवर्ड राइट नाउ आई मीन लॉस आई एम नॉट क्लोज दैम आई ट्राई टूमोरो ऑल्सो आई वोट टेक इट फॉर मंडे ऑफकोर्स बिकॉज दिस इज करंट मंथ एक्सपायरी आई मैंशंड अबाउट द निफ्टी एक्सपायरी एक्सपेरिमेंट नॉट एट आई वॉज नॉट अवेयर दैट द इंडेक्स वैल्यूज चेंज एज एडजस्टमेंट फॉर द लास्ट मिनट ट्रेड्स विच सेटल After 3:30, but थर्टी बट वट टेकन बिफोर थ्री थर्टी बाय द एक्सचेंजेस आई गॉट लॉड ऑफ इनपुट ये स्टडे फॉर द लेडरिंग वन आई विल टेक इट अप इन अ सेपरेट वीडियो आई ट्राई एंड कवर एटलीस्ट टेन वन मिनट ईच इन द वीडियो आई ट्राई फॉर टूमोरो अदरवाइज आई रिलीज द वीडियो ओवर द वीकेंड आई कुड नॉट मैनेज इट टूडे बिकॉज इट वॉज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी टू अपडेट दीज डैशबोर्ड विच यू आर सींग टूडे बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ डेटा रिक्वायर्ड सम सॉर्ट ऑफ विजुअलाइजेशन एडिशन करेक्शन टू हेल्प मी टेक द राइट ट्रेड्स नाउ इंडस एंड इज एट द बॉटम ऑफ दिस बैंकिंग पैप इट इज एक्चुअली द बैंकिंग प्लस एन बी एफ सी पैक वन लैख करोड़ मार्केट कैप द पी ऑफ इलेवन इज लो फॉर अ बैंक पी एन बी इज एट नाइन पॉइंट टू सिक्स एस बी आई इज एट टेन पॉइंट फोर फोर एंड बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा एट सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव मोस्ट प्राइवेट बैंक आर लॉट हायर नाउ अर्स्ट वाइल इंडस एंड पी यूज टू बी वन ऑफ द हाइएस्ट इंडस एंड एंड येस बैंक लेड द प्राइवेट बैंकिंग पैक फॉर सेवरल ईयर्स डिकेट्स पर एप्स बट बोथ ऑफ देम हैव बीन सल्किंग फॉर लास्ट फाइव सेवन ईयर्स जस्ट अ डिस्क्लेमर आई यूज टू बी द सी टी ओ ऑफ वन ऑफ देयर सब्सिडरीज आई स्पेंड टू ईयर्स विद दैम आई जॉइन जस्ट बिफोर द मर्जर नाउ बैक टू द ग्राफ्स द रिजल्ट केम समवे अराउंड थ्री फोर्टी नाउ इंडस एंड मूव अप एंड डाउन nearly 1% in the last half an hour coming back to results september 2024 is what we are talking about revenue 12686 crore so 11248 became 12686 interest higher expenses higher overall the outcome financing profit here was 653 crore here minus 405 crore Now screener is a little dodgy here because many banks show financing profit negative, so that's not really the final outcome because other income comes after that. Two two eight two in the previous quarter, two one eight five in this quarter. As per screener, there is zero cost for this other income, and it is directly being added to profit before tax. So profit before tax, which was two nine three five, nearly three thousand crore previous September, why on why it has reduced to seventeen eighty crores. tax is all same net profit has dipped from 2202 to 1331 crore that's a big big dip eps 28.34 has dipped to 17 gross npa has actually increased this is a bigger problem than the revenue and profitable dip no one in the investor community likes npa increasing in fact if it is just dipping to 1.91 people will be happy net npa also 0.57% increase to 0.64%. This is not a good result. Each and every operational parameter is bad and lot worse than the other banks that we have analyzed till now. If you look at the profit and loss the TTM one compared to March 2024 slight increase in revenue, financing profit has a dip, other income nearly same. 
profit before tax has a dip net profit has a dip eps has a dip not looking good promoter have sold very little amount fii's have sold 38.4 has become 34 one of the worst signs for a stock who has bought you which is dis public direct retail has reduced a bit looking where indus end is if it improves in the next two three years it will give fantastic results i'm talking about the roi for your investments am i buying no i'm not buying that is because i become tired in last four or five years counting the skeletons that come out of indus end's closet looking at the fall of some of the other companies which are punished it may hit lower circuit also and may recover after that i don't think it will close at lower circuit hope this analysis was useful i will see you tomorrow for the last episode of the week thanks for watching